I'm going to show you how to get your beat thing virtual loaded up as an AU plugin instrument within uh, Logic Pro here. Real quick to do, real simple. First thing that we want to do though is uh, go ahead and hit this plus key and we'll get a software instrument track going. I'll delete this audio track. Um, what you want to do first though, over here, you might need to push this drop down where it says instrument one, it's coinciding with this track here. You want to go to the MIDI channel where it says all, go ahead and push on all and make that one. Now I usually like to get a couple tracks set up here so we don't have to mess around with them later. So I'll go ahead and go to track right here and new with next MIDI channel. And that way your next track will be set up and just like we went down here and changed this to one, we'll change this to uh, track two. So you'll see track two, next MIDI channel two. shortcut key to make another track would be option command M and we'll change this one to track 3 and track 4 which you'll see again track 3 MIDI channel 3 track 4 MIDI channel 4 so now we're ready to load up the beat thing virtual and we'll go ahead down to the IO AU instruments you into pattern mode so the first thing that you need to do is just go ahead and hit new so now we're in a new pattern but since we're recording in logic recording your MIDI information in logic all we're actually you know using the BTV for is the sound module right now all the information will actually be recorded into logic so Let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'll lay out a quick pattern here just to uh, lay out some drums just to show you how it's going here. So track one, once again, goes with track one, MIDI channel one, and you just need to go ahead and pick the kit out. Let's try it. All right, let's go with that one. Let's change the tempo. I'll make it about 95. And see if I change my tempo in Logic. It does change the tempo here in uh, BTV. But get my loop started there, and let's go ahead and. Uh, So there we go, we've got something laid out on uh, track one. Let's lay out some uh, something else on track two here. We'll just do this real quick. And, um, let's go ahead with raw kits. Yeah, we'll just lay out some quick hi-hats here. Alright, we'll just get it going here real quick, um, <clears throat> but you know, of course, you can adjust everything, you know, if I wanted to change, you know, change the volumes of the uh, kick and snare I've got in there, go ahead and just go to the mixer, levels up and down, you know, you can do your pans, you can still, you know, you can still adjust everything you want within the BTV, you know, still get the sounds and everything, use the effects and everything we got going on here, that's what's real cool about it close out of that for a second that's you know that's mainly it to get it going um, right now we've got you can get eight MIDI tracks going through so you can set up your MIDI channels one through eight it will be 16 though um let's see here uh, you know of course solo you want to solo your you can just hit S of course check out what you got on your tracks S will undo that Let's go over uh, saving real quick here. Let's bring the BTV back up. <clears throat> now, what you want to do, since you know you can't, you, you want to save your pattern. You want to save the layout of your kits within uh, Beat Bang. 
So let's go ahead and we'll call this BTV05. Hit OK. And then we'll save the logic session. So we'll save everything within uh, save your plugin here. So we'll go ahead and go save. And I usually like to name it the same thing, BTV05. Just keep it easy. And then I'll show you another quick trick here. We're going to shut logic down, and I'm going to open it back up. So I've got uh, Logic loaded back up. I just wanted to show you one real quick thing. Once you load your session back up, it will load up with the last setting that you used on the BeatThang Virtual. But if you want to go within the BTV, you know, and adjust your kits, change some sounds, do whatever you need to do, you just need to hit Edit. That way it puts you in the edit mode of the uh, that pattern setup that you got going on here. So all your kits will be laid out there. You know, we've got the, so, you know, if you want to add everything else, you know, track three, track four, just make sure you do that. It's real simple to do. These kinds of